Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is She Plays, She Creates. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm happy to share with you my thoughts on the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen. I'm really excited to unbox this and see how this works. If we remove the packaging here, we can see that the Eco Pen is coming in a plastic casing. On the front, you can see the label Eco and the logo. And behind, we can also see some defining characteristics, such as the pen cap, the nib itself, the feeder, the inner compartments that make up the pen. If we open it up now, what we can see are some instructions laid out clearly for us with different pictures. So here shows us how to fill in our Eco Pen with ink, which is exciting and something that we are definitely going to do. But then we can also see that there are additional instructions inside. So we have the wrench, silicone grease, and on the top it shows us how to actually use those things. So the wrench will be used for um, loosening up the top part of the screw and then um, that will enable us to disassemble and reassemble. Something we're not going to do, but if we are going to do that, that silicone grease there is helpful for making sure that the piston stays well lubricated. So now if we move on to the main star of the show, the Eco Fountain um, pen, we can see that it comes in this beautiful lilac color, although there are other colors also available. I believe there are at least 12 or more different colors. There is on here this clear demonstrator, which allows you to see the ink inside. This little sticker here, which tells us not to use alcohol to clean it, and that's just to keep the pen nice and protected. And so there's a twist cap, and it's very nice in the hand. We have this twisting screw cap, which enables the piston inside to lower and not lower. Now look at this nib. I got this pen in the extra fine nib, although it comes in other sizes as well. You can get it in fine, medium, bold, and a 1.1 stub as well. Here I'm just showing you that the clip is nice and sturdy if you want to clip that onto your shirt or a book or paper if you like. A quick look at the cap features this awesome logo here. But now let's get to the good stuff. So today we're going to be using this waterproof Black Cat India ink. Links down below where you can find this, but this is an awesome ink to use while you are sketching and drawing and doing other creative art tasks. So now let's take a look again at these instructions for how to fill this thing. So we laid down some protective materials, um, a cloth and some paper towels, and now we have the nib here ready to go. Just a reminder, the cap features this nice twisting mechanisms which prevents the ink from actually leaking out of the cap. All right, let's go. So first, we need to open this bad boy up. Pop that little ink bubble there. So next what we're gonna do is just put the fountain pen inside of the ink and twist the screw cap so that the piston will allow the pen to be filled with ink. Once we do that and the pen is fully filled, we can shake it a bit to let out some of the excess ink and make sure it doesn't drip all over the place. I'm using the side of the ink bottle to move some of it off. And then I'm going to twist and make sure that holding the pen up vertically, we can get some of those air bubbles out. So once the air bubbles are starting to form, we wanna make sure that gets out because that's going to make your drawing or writing process a lot easier. Oh, okay, back with some clean hands there. Let's test this bad boy out. So, holding the Eco Pen, it feels very nice in the hand, filled with ink. A little bit heavy to be surprising with the cap on as well. So I'm gonna see how this pen feels with the cap on, and I may just take it off depending on how I feel. But starting off, we're just going to make some lines across the page and see. And I like to go in multiple directions when I am making my lines and doing some exercises. 
Now you see me doing some hatching here in one direction, just getting a sense of how the pen feels, and then I'm going in the other direction to see how flexible I can be. Next here you see me drawing some circles in different orientations, going in one way, going in the other way, making different sizes, not really concerned with what they look like. At this point, I decided that the pen was a little bit too heavy to have in my hand as I'm drawing, for at least for my preference, and so I decided to take the cap off. Now you can see me just looking at how the ink flows throughout the pen, so I'm doing a little bit of shading, and look at that ink. It looks so beautiful. How about some writing? So let's write a few letters of the alphabet and do a few scribbles. I am loving this. Demo time! So I'm quickly just erasing a sketch that I drew earlier of a Lego set that I built, and now I'm just using the Eco Fountain Pen to see how it works.
We did it! We just about made it to the end of this video. So I just wanted to give a few little highlights and final thoughts about this pen. So again, the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen is now featured for $34.99 and it's an affordable pen option for many who are interested in having a fountain pen. It's available on the Twisby website as well as on Amazon.com. Links down below if you're interested. Again, this pen comes in many different colors. It features a clear barrel that lets you see the ink levels and an easy piston filling mechanism for you to fill the pen with any ink of your choice. The pen is very comfortable in the hand and suitable for all creatives and professionals alike. Most importantly, I like it. I think I love it. Comment down below if you have the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen or other favorites of yours when you are doing your creative drawing and your creative arts. Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye!